Hi everyone, my name is Yalis and tonight I'm going to be teaching a 60 minute vinyasa flow for all levels. If you have my playlist, you can go ahead and start that now. We're going to start in child pose. So if you'd like to join me finding your knees under your hips. And thinking back as your hips reach towards your heels, arms can extend long. And on an exhale, releasing elbows and forehead down to the mat. Start to come into the space. Feeling the earth beneath you. And as you're ready, start to tune into your breath. Notice where the sensation of breath is in this pose. So you can feel your belly expanding between your legs. Or if you can feel space being created in your upper back. Use this pose to find a sense of support and grounding and security as you're low to the earth. On every inhale, feeling even more of that grounding sensation, but if you're growing roots, with every exhale, becoming free and expansive as the sky. As if to be both grounded on the earth and flying at the same time. Take a moment to check in with your physical body. Noticing any areas of tension or ease, comfort or discomfort. Without the intent to change or fix anything, just with observation and awareness. Eventually also coming to check in with the quality of your thoughts. Along with what you perceive to be your emotional and energetic body. Just again, taking inventory of how you feel at the beginning of this practice. Notice if there's any way that you can let go a little bit more with each exhale. And eventually, if you like to join me, cultivating a jai breath that will carry us throughout the practice. Taking a deep inhale through your nose and an exhale through your mouth as if you're fogging up a window. And then finding that same sensation of tension in the back of the throat on both the inhales and the exhales. This is a powerful breath that will carry us through the practice, allowing us to coordinate movement to the breath. We'll be here for just a few more breaths. If you'd like to bring any intention for this practice into your mind's eye, please do so. 
and use your next exhale to set that intention into place. Throughout the practice, coming back to your breath and back to your intention and using those two things to carry you throughout this practice, allowing them to remain constant. On your next inhale, bring some energy into the arms, coming up onto tented fingers. And gently walk your hands over to the right side of your mat, eventually maybe finding right hand on top of left before bowing back to the earth for a side body stretch. Breathe into any sensation here. As you're ready, coming back up onto tented fingertips and walking both hands over to the right side of the mat. And maybe finding left hand on top of right as you bow back to the earth. On your next inhale, walking back to a neutral child's pose. Take an exhale to release your forehead down to the ground. And on your inhale, come to roll up your back, coming into tabletop pose, extending all the way into cow, drop your belly, shine your heart forward. Exhale to press the floor away, rounding your back, coming into cat pose. Inhale to cow. And exhale to press through cat and sink back into child's pose. Flowing through that at your own breath pace. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale cow. And exhale to melt back into child's pose. Continuing the sequence at your own breath pace. How much can you luxuriate through each movement? Allow the breath to carry the movement. And the next time you find yourself in child's pose, take your next inhale to come up to a neutral tabletop. Finding wrists under shoulders and knees under hips. Come here for a moment, feeling the strength of your arms and legs as weight is evenly distributed. And as you're ready, move your left hand into the center of your mat and inhale, right arm up overhead. Going towards the needle, stay for an inhale. Exhale to thread right hand under left arm. Coming to your right cheek or right shoulder. Maybe your left hand stays here in front of your face. Or maybe it extends long out in front of you. Option to stay here or to extend left leg out behind you. Again, option to stay here or option to press into the floor with your bottom knee and 
cover this leg up off the mat with the option to come in and out of this as much as you'd like. It's flowing. You stay for one more inhale. Exhale to release both knees back to the mat, finding your left hand in front of your face. And inhale, right arm swoops up overhead to reverse the movement. Exhale, both hands back to the mat. So you take that to the other side, walking right hand to the center of your mat. Inhale, taking left arm through heart center and extending up overhead. Exhale to thread the needle, coming on to left shoulder or left cheek. Maybe your hand stays in front of your face or extends long in front of you. Option to stay here or to extend right leg back behind you. And when you're there, option to stay or to hover right leg up off the ground. Again, option to come in and out as much as you'd like. Playing with some balance here. Stay for one more inhale. And on your exhale, bring both knees back to the earth. Finding your right hand in front of your face, inhale to sweep left hand up overhead. And exhale, everything comes back to the mat. Take a moment for any conscious movement of your spine here, getting it moving. On your next inhale, extend right leg back behind you. Take a moment to press through that ankle, finding any movement that feels good. And when you're ready, walk your left hand to the center of your mat. Wag your tail so that left foot goes out to the left side of the mat. And inhale to draw right arm up to the sky. Option to stay here or on an inhale, hover the right leg for a kneeling half moon. Breath is flowing. How much length can you find between your hands? Energizing through your back foot. Stay for one more inhale. And exhale to release foot down to the floor. Coming up on the tented fingertips, we come up into gate pose. Arms are in a T. And when you're ready, rotating your back leg so that you're annealing, you can rotate this foot back a little bit, coming into a kneeling warrior two. Find strength in your legs as you find length pulling up through the crown of your head. Stay for an inhale and an exhale. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, coming into side angle, either with elbow to knee or hand to the floor. Inhale to come back to kneeling warrior two. See if you can find that bone stacking of your right knee over your right ankle. And as you're ready, coming back into a neutral gate pose, arms are in a T, hips facing the side of your mat. And inhale to lower, but left hand back to the ground, coming back into this all in gate pose. Stay for an inhale and exhale to bring right hand back to the mat, coming back into tabletop. Pause for a moment of breath. And as you're ready, inhale, extend your left leg back behind you. Take a moment to roll through that ankle, finding any movement that feels good. And when you're ready, walking right hand to the center of your mat, wag your tail to open your right foot to the outside of your mat. And inhale, bringing left arm through your heart and extending up to the sky. Find weight in both your knee and your hand. Option to stay here or option to hover left knee up off the mat. Coming into a kneeling half moon. Find the energy up through your left fingertip and extending through the crown of your head and through your left foot. You breathe. Mm -hmm. 
Stay for one more inhale. And exhale to release that leg back to the floor. Come up onto tendons bend your hips. And on your inhale, come up into gate pose. Find any arms to a T. Left leg is extended. Come to bend your left knee, rotating your knee to face the back of your mat. Maybe moving your right foot out a little bit, coming into a kneeling warrior two. Can you find the alignment of your pelvis here so that your back is creating a straight line all the way from your tailbone to the crown of your head? Engaging your lower core. And on your next inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale to side angle, hand coming to either the knee or to the floor. Opening right side body, spiraling your ribcage open. On your next inhale, coming back to center. Extend your left leg, coming back into gate pose. Inhale here and exhale to fall over, finding right hand gently to the earth to fall in gate pose. Stay here for one more inhale. And exhale to bring left hand back to the mat and come back into a neutral tabletop. Find a little bit of a cow pose here. And exhale the cat, rolling through your back. And on your next exhale, melt back into child's pose. Allow your heart to melt down to the earth, through your arms. And breathe. On your next inhale, roll up to cow pose. Check your toes and exhale, press back downward facing dog. Inhale, bending knees, coming back to cow. And exhale to sink back into child's. We'll flow through that a few more times. Inhale to cow. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale to cow. And exhale to melt back into child's pose. Flow through that your own breath pace a few more times. Again, finding ease in their quality of movement. Moving through your spine in a way that feels good. And the next time you find yourself in child's pose, take the first part of that flow again and come to find downward facing dog for a moment of stillness. Find your feet hip width distance in the back of your mat and take a moment for any conscious movement paddling through your feet. Maybe swiveling one knee and the other towards the center of your mat or taking a deep bend in both knees, allowing hips to dial up to the sky. Allow your head to relax in neutral. And eventually finding a moment of stillness, heels drawing towards the floor, energizing through hands. Breath is flowing. Inhale to rise up high on your toes. Look forward to the front of your mat and carefully step between your hands. Come to find opposite hand to opposite elbow for ragdoll pose. Release your neck and head. Maybe take some gentle movement swaying from one side to the other. When you're ready, release your hands down to the earth, deeply bend your knees and slowly roll up to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Let your shoulders roll up, back and down your spine, energy coming through your fingertips. And take a moment to really come into this pose. Find weight in all four corners of both feet. 
Notice if you can find that Pada Bandha footlock, pressing into all corners of your feet, finding strength, pulling that strength up from the earth into your legs, all the way through the crown of your head. Knowing that you can tap into this footlock throughout any balancing poses or standing poses for more strength and stability. As you're ready, inhale, arms overhead, upward salute, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale to swan dive forward, Uttanasana forward, fold. Release your head, release your neck. Inhale, halfway lift, coming to fingertips or hands to legs. Exhale to fold, take a large right step back into a runner's lunge. Find stability in your legs as if you could hover your hands off the floor as you stay for the inhale. And exhale to release knee and foot down to the mat. Inhale, both arms overhead for Anjanayasana, knee down crescent. Finding length on your inhales and deepening your stretch on your exhales. Stay for one more inhale. And exhale to shift back into Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. Maybe finding hands to blocks or tented fingertips or to the palms, wherever you can find your back is straight. Finding a stretch in the back of your left leg. Staying for the breath. On your next inhale, press your hands into the floor and hover your heel up off the mat. Finding deep engagement in your core and hip flexors. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to release down to the floor. And we'll take that one more time. Inhale to hover the knee, press the floor away. And exhale to release. Option to stay here or on your next exhale to round your back, thinking nose to knee. Releasing forward. On your next inhale, coming back up onto your hands. And exhale to sink forward into your knee down crescent. Inhale, arms overhead. For one more inhale, lifting up. And exhale to find hands to mat. Energize through your back leg and step back into plank pose. Find a straight line from your heels to the crown of your head. Stay for an inhale. And exhale to release knees and feet to the ground and lower all the way down to your belly. Hands in position under shoulders, inhale to press up cobra pose, tractioning elbows back towards hips to open your heart. Exhale to release down to the floor. Inhale through tabletop and exhale downward facing dog. Put your chest melt through your arms. Inhale to take a large right step forward between your hands. Finding a runner's lunge, opening your shoulders, find strength in your legs. Stay for the inhale. And on the exhale, step your left foot forward to the front of your mat and Uttanasana forward fold. Stay for an inhale here. And exhale, let everything go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. And exhale, hands to heart center. We'll take that to the other side. Inhale, arms overhead, upward salute. Exhale, swan dive forward, Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale to fold, take a large left step back into a runner's lunge. Stabilize your legs if you could hover hands off the floor. Stay for an inhale. And exhale to release knee and foot to the ground. Inhale, arms overhead, knee down, press in Ajna Asana. Inhale to find more length and exhale to deepen the stretch. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, hands come to the floor and shift back into Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. Find a straight back with hands to the floor, to fingertips or to block. Breath is flowing. Taking one more inhale. On your exhale, press the floor away and hover your 
Heel up off the floor. Finding deep engagement of your hip flexor and core. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to release heel down to the mat. We'll take that one more time. Inhale to press the floor away, hovering your foot. Rounding your back slightly. Stay for the inhale. Exhale to release heel to the ground. Take one inhale to arch to your back, extending chest forward. And on your exhale, option to fold over, rounding your back. The breath is flowing. And on your next inhale, shift forward into your knee down crescent. Inhale, arms overhead. Staying for one more inhale here. Exhale, hands to the floor, energize through your back leg, step back, plank pose. Extend through your crown of your head and through your heels. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to release knees and feet to the ground and lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale to repose. Tractioning elbows back towards your hips, opening your chest. Exhale to fold. To come back to the ground. Inhale through tabletop. And exhale, downward facing dog. Find a moment of stillness in your downward facing dog as heels draw toward the floor and energy presses the floor away from your shoulders. Inhale to take a large left step forward into a runner's lunge. Energize through your legs. Open your chest. Stay for the inhale. Exhale to take a large right step forward to meet left leg at the front of your mat. Utanasana forward fold. Let everything go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, the fold. Let it all go. Shake your head a little bit, yes and no. Open and close your jaw, allowing those to relax. Inhale, arms overhead, upward salute, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment of breath here. Tapping back into that pot of bundle of your feet. Uh, feeling all parts of your feet touching the floor. Your big toe joint, your pinky toe joint, your heel. Pressing the floor away to energize up to your body. Inhale, arms overhead, upward salute. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale to fold, step back, plank pose. Option to continue with knees down, cobra, or to take a chaturanga here, shifting all the way over your hands and slowly bending elbows until you flip all over your feet and inhale to upward facing dog. Thighs do not touch the floor. On your exhale, pressing back to downward facing dog. For any more vinyasas, I call through the rest of this class. Either knees down cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog are great options. Take a moment of neutralizing breath in your downward facing dog. And when you're ready, walk your feet together at the back of your mat, big toes touch. Inhale to lift left, right leg up over your head, stacking hip on top of hip. Find a puff of air on your left armpit. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to take a large right step forward. Spiral your back foot down. Inhale to rise. Exhale, settle warrior two. Can you find the same alignment in your pelvis that you did in your kneeling warrior two? Finding a 90 degree bend in your front knee. Breath is flowing. Inhale to reverse. Exhale to side angle. Finding either elbow to knee or extending hand to the earth. Breath is flowing. Inhale to reverse. Exhale to warrior two. Deeply bend in your front knee. Maybe shortening your pose slightly and come to find Taking a step back if you need to find right 
thumb and line with right pinky finger and extend left arm and left leg up to the ceiling for half moon pose Ardha Chandrasana. Can you find Padabandha in your bottom foot? And find the same energy as if you were standing on the back wall with your left foot. Take for an inhale. Exhale to release your hand down to the floor, coming into standing splits. Keeping a micro bend in your front knee. Maybe one or both hands come to your right ankle as your breath is flowing. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to dial toes down, coming into warrior three legs. If you need a moment, release your left leg to the ground and set up again. Option to find hands to blocks or to extend both legs, both hands in front of you into warrior three. Again, finding Padabandha in your both feet as one presses into the floor and the other thinks of stepping onto the back wall. Okay, for an inhale and an exhale. Inhale to step back into a crescent lunge. Arms into a warrior one variation, stay for an inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, plank pose. Take either knees down cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Finding a neutral downward facing dog. My left your heart towards your thighs. And when you're ready, step big toes to the back of your mat. Inhale to lift the left leg up off the mat, stacking hip on top of hip. Find a puff of air under your right armpit to support your shoulders. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to take a large left step forward between your hands. Rotate back foot down. Inhale to rise. Exhale, settle, warrior two. Find a fierce warrior two here. Allow your tailbone to drop down towards the earth. Inhale to reverse and exhale side angle. Open through the right side of your rib cage. Optionally finding your left hand to the floor. Trying to find the bone stacking of left knee on top of ankle. Inhale to reverse. And exhale to come back to warrior two. Coming to set up for half moon, short in your stance if you'd like. Finding and moving anything out of the way if you still have blocks around. Coming to find left thumb and line of left pinky finger as right leg and arm float off the mat. Gaze towards the floor. So stay for the inhale and the exhale. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale to find right hand to the floor, coming up into standing splits. Maybe one or both hands come to left ankle. Gaze down to the mat. Stay for an inhale, exhale to dial right toes down, coming into warrior three. Take a bend in your left knee as you float arms up, maybe coming to blocks or extending arms out in front of you. Finding the bend in your knee for stability. Stay for an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, step back into crescent lunge, warrior one variation. 
Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, plank pose. Stay for the inhale. Exhale to take chaturanga to up dog or knees down cobra. Press back through your heels, finding Adho Mukha Svadasana. Downward facing dog. And take a few breaths in either downward facing dog or child's pose. And when you're ready, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale to rise up high onto your toes, look to the front of your mat and step or float in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead, third Bahasasana, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center. Feel energy balancing between right and left side body. As we take a little bit more balancing here, come to step, big toes together at the front of your mat. And stay at heart center. As weight shifts onto your left leg. Come to release your right leg. Maybe finding a kickstand with your right leg coming towards your left ankle. Option to stay here as we head towards variations of tree pose. Next option is to bring your leg up to your calf, finding some more balance here. This is a great place to stay. Maybe you'll use the help of your hands to bring your foot up to your thigh, being sure not to press into your knee your foot should be either above or below your knee. Option to stay here, option to raise hands up above your head. Maybe gaze shifts up as well. Using a playful energy here, coming in and out of the pose as much as you'd like. Stay for one more inhale. And one more exhale. Inhale to come, pull your knee up towards your nose, release hands to your thigh. And as you're ready, cross right ankle over left knee and come to sit down deeply into Ekapada Utkatasana or one-legged chair pose. If you come in and out of the pose, try not to shake out your left foot. Stay for the breath. Inhale to slowly come out, pulling me up to your face, releasing hands to the sides of your body. And exhale to release the right foot down to the mat. Take a moment standing, Shasta Mountain Pose. Notice differences between right and left side body. And when you're ready, we'll take that to the other side, walking feet together so big toes touch. Come to find your left leg as a kickstand, hands can come to heart center. Heading towards tree pose, option to stay here, option to come to your left foot, to your right calf. Option to stay here or to use the help of your hand to pull left foot into right thigh. Again, coming in and out of the pose as much as you'd like. Try to find your drishti fixed onto a single point. And eventually coming on an inhale to pull your knee up towards your face and standing one-legged mountain pose. Come to cross left knee over right, left ankle over right knee. And sit back into Ekapada Utkatasana, single leg chair. 
Again, coming out as much as you'd like. On your next inhale, coming back up, knee to your nose. And exhale to release your knee back to the floor. Coming to the front of your mat if you're not already there. Find equal weight in both feet, feet at hips distance. Come through brush fingertips to the floor. Sink your hips deeply back and bring hands overhead into a chair pose. Engage the Anabanda, pulling your navel up to your spine, flattening your back. Stay for an inhale and an exhale. One more inhale. Exhale to fold over your knees, hands to the mat, forward fold. When you're ready, heel toe your feet out to a mat's distance with your toes kicking out slightly. And sink your hips low down into a Malasana Yogi squat. Find as much length in your spine as you can, pressing elbows into knees. Option two, take some movement, shifting over one foot and the other. And eventually coming back to a neutral Malasana squat. Option to stay here, if you'd like to play with Chittivasana, come to raise your hips a little bit, walk hands far behind your feet and come to float feet up off the mat. Pressing finger pads into the floor to engage Hasta Bandha. Coming to deeply engage Uddiyana Bandha, hugging elbows together. And maybe feet float off off the mat. As your gaze is forward. Coming in and out of this playfully. And when you feel like you're ready, coming back into Malasana squat. Hands at heart center. Stay for an inhale and on an exhale, hands come to the mat. Shoot your hips up high and do a forward fold with wide legs. Release your neck and head. When you're ready, kick your toes out again. Sinking hips back down into Malasana. And as slowly as you can, coming to sit your hips down onto the mat. Come to extend your feet out in front of you and find the Dasana Stop Pose, finding either hands on either side of your hips. Press into the floor. Open your chest, extend through your feet for energy. And breathe here. As if you are trying to press your hips up off the floor. Often to play around with the placement of your hands. Finding energy through all limbs. Stay for an inhale and exhale to release your hands. Let your feet release and take a moment to shake out your knees, massaging them against the earth. When you're ready, come to find left knee straight and cross your right ankle over your left knee. Option to find the right foot to the inside of your knee for a tree pose variation, a seated tree pose variation. Maybe ankle crosses over knee or if it's in your practice, coming into half lotus of this leg with your foot in your hip crease. Inhale to find a tall spine and walk your hands gently forward. Only as far as you can keep a straight back. Stay for an inhale. And an exhale. If this is your in half lotus and it feels like a lot on your knee, maybe finding a block under that knee for extra support. 
Stay for an inhale. Exhale to round your back. Release all the way over your leg. Breath is flowing. On your inhale, finding weight back into your hands and slowly walking up to a seat. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Exhale to find left hand to right knee for a gentle twist. Maybe gaze shift over right shoulder. If it's in your practice, maybe you find a bind with your right hand to your right foot. This may allow you to release the block from under your knee. As you continue to hold your knee with your left hand. Finding a straight back still. As you stay for the inhale. And the exhale. Take one more inhale. And exhale to rotate back to center. Release your left, your right leg back out in front of you. Give your knees a little bounce here. Noticing differences between right and left side body. And when you're ready, we'll take that to the other side. Come to find the same variation that you did on the other side, either with left foot on the inside of right knee, left ankle crossing over right knee, or finding left foot into your hip crease. Walk slowly forward. Only as far as you can keep a straight back. Breath is flowing as if it feels good to you, finding a block under your left knee, maybe. Stay for an inhale and exhale to fold over, rounding your back, releasing your neck and head. Breath is flowing. As you're ready, bring weight back into your hands, walking up to a seated position. Inhale, both arms up overhead. And exhale to find your right hand to your left knee, taking a gentle twist in your back. Gaze can shift over left shoulder. Option to stay here or keep it on the other side, finding a bind with left hand to left foot. Keeping a tall spine. Stay for one more inhale and one more exhale. Inhale here, exhale to release slowly. Back to neutral, release your left leg out straight. And take a moment to bounce your knee, shaking them out. Scoot your hips forward a little bit, coming to find both feet flat on the mat, knees pointing up. Find your hands behind your thighs and shift back slightly onto your tailbone as maybe you hover feet up into boat pose option to stay here or to extend leg arms long maybe you stay here or you extend legs well maybe here for a few breaths okay one more inhale and a full exhale drawing your navel to your spine 
Dave, ready, inhale. Exhale to bend your knees, placing your feet on the ground and slowly roll all the way down to your back. And we're going to take some variations of bridge pose. So as you're ready, walk your shoulder blades under your back. At the same time, press into your feet and lift your hips up off the mat as high as you can. Maybe hands come to clasp behind your back. And press into the floor and lift your hips. Breath is flowing. We'll be here for a few breaths. Take one more inhale, lift your hips a little bit higher and exhale to release down to the mat. Refrain from pulling your knees into your chest. Instead, come to take either a wide legged child's pose on your back with knees wide or coming into happy baby with hands on the outsides of your feet. Maybe straighten and bend one knee and then the other. Swaying back and forth gently. And when you're ready, release your grip on your feet. Come to with your hands, bringing your knees into your chest and hug them into your chest, walking back and forth, up and down your spine. Gently. And when you're ready, come to shift your hips a couple inches to the right and release your knees over to the left side of your mat. Maybe your gaze just stays up or after your legs have stopped moving, gaze shifts over right hand. Finding a full twist from your tailbone all the way to the crown of your head. On your next inhale, shift your gaze back up to the sky and pull your knees further into your chest as you slowly roll back onto your back. When you're ready, shifting your hips a couple inches to the left and now releasing knees to the right side of your body. Option to stay here or to eventually shift gaze over your left hand. Left shoulder is heavy to the mat. On your next inhale, shift your gaze back up to the sky. Pull your knees further in towards your chest as you slowly roll back onto your back. Find your hips back into neutral. And take one more time, squeezing your knees into your chest, rocking back and forth, up and down your mat. Doing any more movement that you need in a cool down fashion. Maybe coming to curl your head up off the mat. Do a little tiny ball. And as you're ready, releasing everything down to the mat. Extend legs long, allow your feet to open to either direction. Walk your shoulder blades down your spine. Allow your arms to rest by your sides, palms facing up. One more time, come back into your breath. And 
And with an exhale, allow your eyes to close and your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Notice if there's any way that you could relax 10% more into this pose. If your entire body relaxes and sinks deeper into the mat. Take a moment to come back in and check in with your physical body. Gently scanning from the crown of your head down towards your toes. Noticing any changes from the beginning of class or any other sensation. When that comes to an end, come back to check in with your thoughts along with your emotional and energetic body. Still with no judgment, not trying to change or fix anything. Just observing these things with awareness. Noticing throughout all layers of your body any changes from the beginning of class and anything else that comes up. Allowing thoughts to come and go. As if you're observing them from the sidelines, not necessarily interacting with them, but not trying to change or fix anything. And eventually let go of all focus and just be. Don't meditate to fix yourself, to heal yourself, to improve yourself, to redeem yourself. 
Father, do it as an act of love, a deep, warm friendship to yourself. In this way, there is no longer any need for the subtle aggression of self-improvement, for the endless guilt of not doing enough. It offers the possibility of an end to the ceaseless round of trying so hard that wraps so many people's lives in a knot. Instead, there is now meditation as an act of love, how endlessly delightful and encouraging. As you're ready, start to deepen your breath. And like subtle movement back into the body, wiggling fingers and toes, circling ankles and wrists. Maybe shaking your head back and forth against the mat or taking a big morning stretch. When you're ready, come to roll onto your right side, using your right arm as a pillow. Find a moment of gratitude here on your side. Yourself for showing up on your mat today your body for carrying you through this practice and for this practice and everything that it has to offer us on and off the mat. When you're ready, press your left into the hand into the floor and come up to a comfortable seated position. Hands can come to your knees or if you'd like to join me, bring your hands to heart center and onto the mudra. I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor the place in you which is of love, of truth, of light, and of peace. And you are in that place in you, and I am in that place in me. We are one. If you'd like to join me bringing thumb knuckles up to third eye center, we'll seal this practice with the blessing of namaste. Namaste. Thank you for your practice.